the question is an earn earn you understand earn you understand uh ah, it's maybe made up of bamboo or something ball nahi ha samosa bhi rakh sakte hain chahiye to an urn contains five red and five black balls this is five okay so five black balls a ball is drawn at random its color is noted and is returned to the urn moreover two additional balls of the same color that you had drawn and seen they are put in the urn and then a ball is drawn at random you see so two events have happened you have an urn that contains five red five black balls you at random you just pick and you see what color it is whatever is the color you 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 put it back and additional you put two more balls into that hmm of that color and then you again draw a ball what is the probability that the second ball is red hmm what is the probability that the second ball is red now uh, this will fox you this will fox you a lot this question and questions like these what happens uh, you uh, there are simply two ways in which the thing can be done okay either the first ball drawn was red or the first ball drawn was black and according to that the probabilities will change okay okay so if you look 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 back at this that's why i had left it your a is and how you define your events that actually uh, that actually decides whether it will be solved correctly so so obviously i want to find the probability so a is a is that drawing second ball okay second what is the probability that the second ball is red second ball is red is event a okay hmm? now in what to manner the whole sample space can be divided either you can say e1 that the first ball is red or you can say that the first ball is black first ball is black are they mutually exclusive are they a disjoint set yes they are they are what is the probability of e1 and e2 probability of e1 probability of selecting the selecting the ball hmm what is the probability of the other one do this sum to one so they are a valid partition okay so they are a valid partition now we are supposed to find what pe1 so right pe1 is equal to 5 upon 10 which is equal to half pe2 okay P E two is equal to five upon ten, which is again half. Okay. What else? P A such that E one is what? Probability that the second ball is red, such that the first ball is red. Okay. If you had drawn the first ball as red, then what would you have done? You would have put two additional balls, which were red. so now the red balls became 7 so probability that the second ball is red such that the first ball drawn was red will be 7 by 12 is that clear with everyone you put two red balls so the number of balls became 12 you draw the second red ball that you will draw will be having a probability of 7 by 12 probability of drawing the second ball red provided the first ball was black so you would have put two more additional black balls mm. so the total number of balls became 12 and drawing a red ball became 5 by 12 now straight away plug it in into this so my pa becomes p e1 into p a such that e1 plus p e2 into p a such that e2 
so that becomes p e 1 is what half into 7 by 12 plus half p e 2 is also half into 5 by 12 so that gives me 7 by 20 7 by 12 sorry 7 by 24 plus 5 by 24 so that is 12 upon 24 that is half you see so many a times these problems get solved like this And five red balls. And five red balls. Oh, but 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 A is what? Drawing the second ball is red, not drawing the second ball is black. So five out of twelve. So five by twelve. Correct? Yes. 